Okay, this tutorial is for constructing the centroid of a triangle. As you know, the centroid is the intersection of the medians of the triangle. Now, a median is a segment that joins a vertex with the midpoint of the opposite side. So, what I need to do is I actually need to construct two medians in this triangle. Remember, you don't have to do the third because it's implied. So, what I have to find is I have to find the midpoint of at least two of these segments. The only way I know to do that is to, is to pretend that I'm going to do a perpendicular bisector and then just not do the whole thing. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to find the midpoint of this segment right here. I'm going to start out like I'm going to do a perpendicular bisector. So I put the point of the compass on the vertex, open it up more than halfway. I'm going to make a mark above and a mark below, and then I'm going to turn it around and make the same two marks. There's one, there's the other, and I need to extend this one just a little bit because it's a little bit off. There we go. So now what I meant was instead of actually drawing this entire line, I'm just going to, I'm going to line up my ruler as if I was going to connect these two intersections, but I'm only going to draw this point right here because that's all I'm really interested in. So now I know that this point right here is actually the midpoint of this segment. So to draw the median, I start from this vertex and connect it to this point right here. So this would be the median, a median, of this triangle. So there's one of my medians, because I know that that's the midpoint. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the process over here, and I'm going to find the midpoint of this segment. Your construction sometimes will get a little bit messy. That's okay. That's nothing to be concerned about. Extend this one out just a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to connect these two. Looks like they intersect right about there. So I'm going to make this mark, and that should be the midpoint of this segment, which means that this is congruent to this. So to draw the median, I'm going to start at the vertex on the opposite side right through that midpoint and there's my other median. So the centroid would be this point right there. That's the centroid where the two medians intersect. And as you recall, the big deal with the centroid is that it splits these medians into segments that are of the ratio 2 to 1. So that means that this segment, we'll call this A and we'll call this B and we'll call this C. What I actually know now is that AB to BC are in the ratio of 2 to 1, or AB is twice as long as BC. And that's centroid.